And the ball is knocked out of the hands of Magoo, and I think Rice has recovered. They have. The Owls strike first with their defense. Well, that was a coverage. Uh, really did a good job of three-man rush. He hitches, he hitches, and finally, right as he gets ready to let it go, uh, gets the ball knocked out. Uh, this is what we talked about in the open. This, this defensive football team can create a great field position for the offense. And the give is to Davis. Davis breaks a tackle, goes down the sideline, and I think he's in the end zone. It is a touchdown for the Owls on the first play from the line of scrimmage. Just a routine off-tackle play and no, no run support by the uh, Panther defense. And good job of Davis just uh, bouncing off a tackle and makes another guy miss and hugs the boundary and runs it in the end zone. He's like a little bowling ball, isn't he? 5'7", 200 pounds, tough to bring down. And it is actually Harrison who is making, no, excuse me, it is Faramon. This will be the longest of the year for him if he makes it. His previous long, 33 yards. And the kick is on its way, and it is true. Right through the uprights, no problem at all for James Faramon. With the win, he makes it 10-0 in favor of Rice. Across the middle of the field, that's Taylor. He breaks a tackle. Now he's got nothing but green space in front of him. And there goes Jordan Taylor for the touchdown. Jordan Taylor lines up in the slot, runs it underneath the crossing route. Uh, we don't really get a good shot of him catching it, but we see these other guys come across. And well, I tell you, you talked about 87 yards last week. When he gets that football, he's a big, tall, strong kid. Well, first down here for the Panthers as they get Radcliffe off the field. We'll check on him and see if he's able to come back. And again, Magoo on the keeper here, and this time he loses yardage. Boy, they brought the pressure from Nordstrom. And he comes in and was not fooled at all by the fake handoff. Well, you got to tell Nordstrom, hey, stay at home, and that's what he did. Magoo, the first time, it was wide open, but Nordstrom kept his body square, looked inside, and then shuffled back to the out. Jackson goes back to throw. Good pocket, and a completion down the middle to Maiden, and he's off to the races. Maiden with a touchdown. No one came over from the safety position, and Maiden with a voyage into the end zone. Well, James uh, Maiden uh, lined up in the slot, and there was a busted coverage. They were playing zone, and nobody's on him down the middle. One of the safeties went over the top. I'm not sure which one it was, but uh, just wide open. Big holes, and also the loss of Covington in the middle for Rice has hurt them. Well, a loss of a couple here. And a big sack. Magoo trying desperately to stay out of the end zone. He is hit at the four yard line and another big sack. And that's one of the things Rice has been able to do. Nordstrom is so tough from the outside. Well, Nordstrom's an outstanding pass rusher and he knows what to do uh, as far as swimming the underneath move there. I think Magoo just held on to it too long there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a coverage sack. Well, both Nordstrom and Zach Pat those two guys from the outside, they're very quick. From Looking to run the ball, so I guess he is okay. Jackson, there he goes. Pretty much an identical play to the one where he got hurt, and he takes it down to the 30-yard line. Jackson keeps. You just can't coach this instinctive football. I mean, the fact that they got the easy option pitch, he does a little shuffle, then breaks a tackle, and goes north and south. I mean, this guy is a tremendous athlete, but at the same time, a really good decision maker. That's where their power set. The give to Maxwell, and he is stopped. Well shy of the first down marker. In fact, shy of the line of scrimmage. Well, Maxwell didn't stay with his blocking there. He cut back. He started to the right and cut back to the left. And both teams have come up with fourth down stops because they've been able to penetrate from the outside and make the tackle. Look at that good job there coming from the outside and uh, outstanding defensive call there. Third and three. Magoo is feeling the pressure, and down he goes as Nordstrom has yet another tackle. 
Well, that's a big play in a football game because they're going to have to kick into the wind, and certainly uh, that's the one thing you can't have is a sack in that kind of situation. The young quarterback tries to fake, and then you just got to get rid of the football here. Really good. Nordstrom's taking over this game. He made the third down stop, then the fourth down stop to, to uh, at the middle of the field, and now he comes in with the big sack. And, and now you play action again. Again, looking for Taylor. He's got it, and he'll take it all the way down to the three-yard line. Boy, what a tough matchup. Jordan Taylor has proven to be all day. The one thing you know about uh, Jordan Taylor, if you put the ball anywhere near his area code, he's going to come up with a nice catch. The ball's behind him a little bit. He goes up and grabs it. Turner following his blockers and into the end zone for the touchdown. Luke Turner with his third rushing touchdown of the year. Well, Turner made the big catch to uh, keep the drive going, and now he runs what you call the owl formation. It's a pretty wise formation, I promise you. They're sticking <laughs> in the end zone, and uh, that's the way you got to be. Is a, if you're going to be a championship football team and contend in Conference USA, playing on the road, and you get good field position, you got to stick it in there. Now they back off of that pressure and get him again. And there is a fumble on the play, but it's recovered by FIU. Where they came around from behind, and it looked like Dylan Clare was the guy that got to him. Well, only a, a four or five man pressure here, and Clare comes and gets off the block and then gets right off the edge there. Boom. Really get Johnny on the spot by. Uh... Looking to pass. Look at the mobility by E.J. Hilliard. He's trying to get out of bounds and is hit out there by Malcolm Hill for FIU. Hilliard Statue of Liberty play and he held it too long and then he fumbled it. Rice has the ball. Ross Winship fell on the fumble. How about Rice on the turnovers here? I think uh, in this situation here you has got to get rid of the football third and two and it looks like he's going to try to throw the ball over the middle and good job by Winship. Johnny on the spot. This is turnover you both. Okay. So FIU out of timeouts just over a minute to go. And another sack. That is the seventh sack of the day. Seven sacks today by Rice. Hilliard trying to buy some time and he ran right into Pat. Wow. This has been an unbelievable fourth quarter for the Rice Owls and just